You're listening to Saturday Morning Media. And now, back to our show. Saturday Morning Theater proudly presents The Tales of Deputy Guppy. Return with us now to the thrilling days of not too long ago, when the West was wild and the rivers in the West were even wilder. Luckily, there was one fish to maintain law and order, one fish to reel in those who dare disturb the peace and tranquility of Driftwood Gulch, one fish to stand for truth, justice, and honor in the untamed rivers of the Wild West. Deputy Guppy! Today's adventure, Rustlin! Saturday afternoons in Driftwood Gulch were often the most peaceful times of the week. Most of the fish folk were indoors to stay out of the sun that filtered down from the surface, and those that were out were just enjoying the day. Enjoying the calm of the afternoon on the front porch of the sheriff's office, we find our hero Deputy Guppy and his best pal Ringo. Sure is a nice and peaceful Saturday afternoon, ain't it, Gup? Sure is, Ringo. Nice and quiet. Just the way I like it. Mm-hmm. Ooh, say, Gup, got any word as to when Sheriff Bass might be coming back? He's been gone a whole week. Yeah, he has. No, no word yet. Luckily, though, aside from the trouble with the stagecoach carrying money for the bank last week, it's been nice and quiet. Sure has. Hey, that reminds me. You been over to see how Miss Tuna Bell's been settling in since her arrival? No, I have not, and why would I? <laughs> well, she's awful purty. Well, she is, but what's that got to do with me going over and seeing how she settled in? Well, I, I reckon I just figured that with her being so purty and all, and you never having any romantic inclinations toward nobody, I well, I just figured... Well, you can stop that line of figuring right there, Ringo. You got me? I don't need you playing matchmaker for me. Well, I just figured that No you... more figuring, Ringo. Okay, okay. Oh, say, do you think Aunt Pike would mind if I stop by for dinner tonight? Ringo, when has Aunt Pike ever minded if you drop by for dinner? Well, Gup, I don't want to wear out my welcome. But I also know it's Saturday and Aunt Pike makes her flake bread, and oh, oh I do love her flake bread. And she knows you love her flake bread. That's why this morning I saw she had taken out a spare pan to bake extra flake bread for you. Mm-hmm. My stomach is making noise already. What? what? That wasn't my stomach, Gup, I swear. No, it wasn't. It was someone coming down the street there. Look at that. It's Linus Stoddard. Yeah, and he looks all fired up. Hey, Linus. Linus, over here. What's all the ruckus about? Guppy, where's the sheriff? He's still down in Cheyenne. What do you need? What do I need? I need the law. And not any wet behind the ears law, neither. Well, until the sheriff gets back, I'm the law. So stop with the insults and just tell me what you're all worked up about. Someone has been rustling sea cows from off of my ranch. How do you know that? Well, my ranch hands rode out to the south pasture this morning and came back reporting that we were short a hundred head. A hundred head? That's, that's quite a few. It is. And that's quite a few dollars at market, so I think I have a good bit of reason to be upset. Well, let me and Ringo get our seahorses and we'll ride back out there with you and look for clues. You don't need to come out and look for clues. I have all the clues you need right here in my saddlebag. Let me get it here. Uh, See? Why, Gup, that's an arrow. Not just any arrow. A trout arrow. You know those trout are thieving connivers, and they stole my stock for their own purposes. Linus, finding an arrow on your property doesn't mean that the trout are the rustlers. Well, if it don't, I don't know who else could do it. I demand you ride out to the trout village and make some arrests. Linus, I can't just go riding into the trout village and start arresting fish for no reason. Well, unless you'd prefer I raise myself a posse and we ride out there, you'd better do something. No, no, no. This is Driftwood Gulch. Here, we don't go forming posses to go met out justice. We follow the law. We should just run those trout off their land and use it for something useful. All right, now that is enough. I said I would look into it, Linus. You just go back to your ranch and I'll be out later to report what I found. Fine. I'll be waiting. And Linus? What? Hand over that arrow. What for? Evidence. Fine. Here. I expect to see you later today. Who 
Ooh, wee Gup, he's in a mood. When is Linus Stoddard not in a mood? You really gonna ride out to the Trout Village and talk to them? I sure am, partner. And you're gonna come with me. Me? Well, wouldn't it be better if I went out to Aunt Pike's place and help her with some flake bread? There will be plenty of time for flake bread later, Ringo. For now, we gotta figure out where that hundred head of sea cattle went. Deputy Guppy and Ringo head out to the livery to pick up their seahorses in order to ride out to the Rainbow Trout Village. Are the trout the ones behind the disappearance of Linus Stoddard's sea cattle? You'll have to tune in and find out in the next exciting episode of The Tales of Deputy Guppy! You just listened to episode number 105 of The Tales of Deputy Guppy here on Saturday Morning Theater. This episode starred Kevin Burnson, Chris Sheets, Michael Ostrom, and Grant Bachoco. Music for this episode by Dan Ring. All right, kids, there's a brand new building for your Driftwood Gulch playset that's all ready for you to download, print, color, cut, and assemble. All you gotta do is head on over to SaturdayMorningTheater.com and click on the link for the free PDF in the post for this episode. This week, you can build Linus Stoddard's Ranch House. Once you add this new building to your playset, we'd love to see a picture of it. Send the picture of your Driftwood Gulch Town playset to hello at SaturdayMorningMedia.com. And stay tuned for more buildings and figures coming with future episodes so you can build your very own Driftwood Gulch. Saturday Morning Theater is a production of Saturday Morning Media, and it's brought to you free of charge every Saturday morning. If you enjoy this show and the others available for free at SaturdayMorningMedia.com and you'd like to see them continue, there are several ways you can help us make that happen. You can tell a friend about the show. You can leave us a five-star review on iTunes and we'll mention your name right here on the show. You can also support the show by visiting SaturdayMorningTheater.com where you can make a donation or set up a recurring subscription. You can also visit our store where you can buy items from your favorite Saturday morning media shows. Special thanks to Michael Dean for alerting us to an error on our store page. If you've tried to purchase something through there before and it didn't work, it'll work now. Remember, your generosity helps support this show and the others from Saturday Morning Media, your source for family-friendly fun. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this week. My name is Uncle Interloper, and you've been listening to Saturday Morning Theater. See you next week for episode number 106 of The Tales of Deputy Guppy. You've been listening to Saturday Morning Media. Stay tuned. We'll be right back.